In this video, we will learn how to obtain phenylglycine or phenylacetic acid using the Strecker synthesis. The Strecker synthesis allows for the obtaining of amino acids with aldehydes or ketones, ammonia, and cyanide. In this synthesis, the aldehyde forms an imine by reacting with ammonia and then adds cyanide to form a nitrile. In our synthesis, we will use ammonium chloride as a mild acid and as a source of ammonia. Finally, the nitrile reacts with mineral acid to produce carboxylic acid. This operation will be carried out in a fume hood with good ventilation or outdoors. Hydrogen cyanide gas is produced, which is very poisonous. To obtain the nitrile, we will put 25 grams of sodium cyanide in a 1000 milliliters flask and dilute it with 100 milliliters of water. Once diluted, add 30 grams of ammonia chloride and stir to facilitate dilution. In this part, you can already smell the bitter almond scent of hydrogen cyanide. Under no circumstances should you breathe it, and you should work in a fume hood or in open air. At the outlet of the flask, we have adapted a direct outlet tube for fume extraction. In a 250 milliliters Erlenmeyer flask, we prepare a solution of 53 grams of benzaldehyde and 100 milliliters of methanol. Add the benzaldehyde solution to the flask in one go. The reaction commences and the temperature rises from 45 to 50 degrees. We leave it to stir for two hours. During this time, it is observed that the reaction changes to a yellow-orange color. After two hours, add 250 milliliters of water and stir it for 10 minutes. To extract nitrile, add 250 milliliters of toluene. We let it stir for 20 minutes in the 1000 milliliters flask. Separate the aqueous phase from the organic phase using a separatory funnel. After washing the aqueous phase with 50 milliliters of toluene, Mix the organic extracts. Put the organic toluene extractions in the 1000 milliliters flask. The organic phases are washed three times with 30 milliliters of water. To extract amino nitrile from toluene, we will use dilute hydrochloric acid to form amine hydrochloride, which is soluble in water. We separate the aqueous phase that contains amino nitrile hydrochloride. The organic phase containing other materials is discarded to distill and recover the toluene. Heat the aqueous phase containing hydrochloride at reflux for two hours. In this step, the nitrile is hydrolyzed and forms the carboxylic acid. After two hours of reflux, add 80 milliliters of water. We distill under vacuum, maintaining a volume of 500 milliliters in the distillation flask. In total, 100 milliliters of water was added. The total amount of liquid that was distilled is between 100 and 125 milliliters. This product has been discarded. To eliminate resins and discolor the obtained product, we add 5 grams of activated charcoal and heat it at reflux for 30 minutes. The yellow filtrate is neutralized with 25% ammonia to a slightly alkaline pH.
For this operation, we will mount a Kleisen joint, a 125ml pressure compensated addition funnel, and an outlet to the fume hood to eliminate the gases produced. Put 50ml of 25% ammonia in the addition funnel. Add the ammonia slowly to the solution obtained to precipitate the phenylglycine. After adding 50 milliliters of ammonia, we check the pH. We continue adding ammonia until the pH to be alkaline. In total, 75 milliliters of 25% ammonia has been added. Let it cool and collect the yellow solid by suction. To wash the obtained product, we first wash it with 250 milliliters of water to eliminate residual ammonium chloride. Wash with 40 milliliters of diethyl ether, 45 milliliters of hot 96% ethanol, and finally with 125 milliliters of water. Dry the product by suction and then place it in an oven at 80 degrees for 24 hours. After it's dry, we determine the melting point. According to the literature, aminoacetic acid melts at 290 to 292 degrees with decomposition. In our test, the melting point was obtained at 290 to 292 degrees with total decomposition of the product. The yield of this synthesis was 25%.